Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss about trial PSPM2 set 2. Now let's look at question number 1A. Figure 1 shows 3 fixed point charges Q1 positive 12 nanocoulomb, Q2 positive 3 nanocoulomb and Q3 is negative 4 nanocoulomb. 1A1 sketch the lateral force diagram on the charge Q3. So means that the reference charge is the charge Q3. So remember, the electrostatic force is a vector quantity and has a direction as well as magnitude. When adding the electrostatic forces, you must take into account the direction of all forces using the vector component as needed. And now we just focus on charge Q3. Okay, here. Okay, what happened to the forces on charge Q3 due to the Q1 and due to the Q2? The force acting on the Q3 due to Q1 is attractive because Q1 and Q3 have the opposite sign F31. Okay, the force acting on charge Q3 due to the charge Q2 is attractive because Q2 and Q3 have the opposite sign also. Therefore, the direction of F32 is like this. F32 and this one is F31. Okay, this one is for 1A1. Okay, the marks for this question is correct label and arrow for each force, which is F31 and arrow is one mark, F32 and arrow is one mark. Total is diagram two marks. Okay, now let's look at question A2. Calculate the total electric potential energy of the system. Okay, for the electric potential energy, Okay, firstly, you need to find out the distance between the charge 1 and charge 2. Okay, the distance between charge Q1 and Q3 is given, which is 8 cm. Q3 and Q2, distance is 4 cm. Therefore, for the distance between charge Q1 and Q2 is square root 4 power of negative 2 square plus 8 power of negative 2 square. So we'll get the answer is 8.94 power of negative 2 meter. The general equation for the electric potential energy is U equals to K Q1 Q2 over R. Okay, but now we have three charges. Okay, so we need to find out U equals to KQ1 Q2 over R12 plus KQ2 Q3 over R23 plus KQ1 Q3 over R13. Okay, we total up. Okay, we can simplify. We put the K here. Remember that the value of Coulomb constant, which is K, is 9 power of 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. So this value is given in the list of constant. Okay, Q1 is 12 power of negative 9. Q3 is 3 power of negative 9. R12, we calculate already, 8.94 power of negative 2. Okay, then plus Q2. Q2 is 3 power of negative 9. Okay, then Q3 is negative 4 power of negative 9. Okay, don't forget to put the negative sign. Okay, and then R23 is equals to 4 power of negative 2 plus Q1 is 12 power of negative 9 times okay. Q3 is negative 4 power of negative 9 okay, over R12. 
one three, which is eight power of negative two. Don't forget to convert all unit in as a unit. Okay, so we calculate. We get the answer for u or electric potential energy is for negative four point four eight power of negative six joule. Okay, so remember that the negative is compulsory. The marks for the question 1A2 is one mark for the gantian and one mark for the jawapan unit. Now let's look at question 1B. A small ball with mass 25 gram has a total charge of positive 20 micro coulomb. In static equilibrium, determine the magnitude of the electric field in the plates. Okay, so given mass 25 gram, so convert to kilogram, which is 25 power of negative 3 kilogram. Then the Q is positive 20 power of negative 6 coulomb. Okay, we draw the plates. Okay, let's see we have positive plate here and negative plate here. Then a small ball with mass 25 gram. Okay, so this one is the object. This one is the Fe. This one is the width. Okay, from the sum of F equals to 0. Therefore, Fe equals to weight. Electric force is equals to Qe and the weight equals to Mg. So, therefore, E equals to Mg over Q. M is 25 power of negative 3 g is the 9.81 and q is 20 power of negative 6 okay we calculate we get the answer 1.23 power of 4 volt per meter for question 1b1 one mark for the concept one mark for the gantian and one mark for the jawapan unit. For B2, calculate the acceleration of the ball if moved horizontally parallel with the electric field. Okay, so the electric field, okay, we know that the electric field is from positive to negative. Okay, so let's say the A is parallel with the electric field. Therefore, we can write down Fe is equals to Ma. Fe equals to Qe. Equals to M A. Therefore, the acceleration is A equals to Q A over mass. Q is 20 power of negative 6. And E we calculate already from the previous question. 1.23 power of 4. And the mass is 25 power of negative 3. Therefore, we get the answer 9.84 meter per second square for 1b2 one mark for the concept one mark for the gantian and one mark for jawapan unit that's all for question number one thank you